Bunta creatinine ratio, Wikipedia article audio. In medicine, the Bunta creatinine ratio is the ratio of two serum laboratory values, the blood urea nitrogen and serum creatinine. Outside the United States, particularly in Canada and Europe, the truncated term urea is used and the units are different. The units of creatinine are also different, and this value is termed the urea to creatinine ratio. The ratio may be used to determine the cause of acute kidney injury or dehydration. The principle behind this ratio is the fact that both urea and creatinine are freely filtered by the glomerulus, however, urea reabsorbed by the tubules can be regulated whereas creatinine reabsorption remains the same. Definition Technique Urea and creatinine are nitrogenous end products of metabolism. Urea is the primary metabolite derived from dietary protein and tissue protein turnover. Creatinine is the product of muscle creatine catabolism. Both are relatively small molecules that distribute throughout total body water. In Europe, the whole urea molecule is assayed whereas in the United States only the nitrogen component of urea is measured. The bun, then, is roughly one half of the blood urea. The normal range of urea nitrogen in blood or serum is 5 to 20 mg slash dl, or 1.8 to 7.1 mol urea per liter. The range is wide because of normal variations due to protein intake, endogenous protein catabolism, state of hydration, hepatic urea synthesis, and renal urea excretion. A bun of 15 mg slash dl would represent significantly impaired function for a woman in the 30th week of gestation. Her higher glomerular filtration rate, expanded extracellular fluid volume, and anabolism in the developing fetus contribute to her relatively low bun of 5 to 7 mg slash dl. In contrast, the rugged rancher who eats in excess of 125 grams protein each day may have a normal bun of 20 mg slash dl. The normal serum creatinine varies with the subject's body muscle mass and with the technique used to measure it. For the adult male, the normal range is 0.6 to 1.2 mg slash dl, or 53 to 106 mol slash l by the kinetic or enzymatic method, and 0.8 to 1.5 mg slash dl, or 70 to 133 mol slash l by the older manual JAF reaction. For the adult female, with her generally lower muscle mass, the normal range is 0.5 to 1.1 mg slash dl, or 44 to 97 mol slash l by the enzymatic method. Multiple methods for analysis of bun and creatinine have evolved over the years. Most of those in current use are automated and give clinically reliable and reproducible results. There are two general methods for the measurement of urea nitrogen. The diacetyl, or ferrin, reaction develops a yellow chromogen with urea, and this is quantified by photometry. It has been modified for use in autoanalyzers and generally gives relatively accurate results. It still has limited specificity, however, as illustrated by spurious elevations with sulfonylurea compounds and by colorimetric interference from hemoglobin when whole blood is used. Interpretation In the more specific enzymatic methods, the enzyme urease converts urea to ammonia and carbonic acid. These products, which are proportional to the concentration of urea in the sample, are assayed in a variety of systems, some of which are automated. One system checks the decrease in absorbance at 340 mm when the ammonia reacts with alpha-ketoglutyric acid. 
the asterisk system measures the rate of increase in conductivity of the solution in which urea is hydrolyzed. Even though the test is now performed mostly on serum, the term bun is still retained by convention. The specimen should not be collected in tubes containing sodium fluoride because the fluoride inhibits urease. Also chloral hydrate and guanethidine have been observed to increase bun values. Specific Causes of Elevation The 1886 Jaff reaction, in which creatinine is treated with an alkaline picrate solution to yield a red complex, is still the basis of most commonly used methods for measuring creatinine. This reaction is nonspecific and subject to interference from many non-creatinine chromogens, including acetone, acetoacetate, pyruvate, ascorbic acid, glucose, cephalosporins, barbiturates, and protein. It is also sensitive to pH and temperature changes. One or another of the many modifications designed to nullify these sources of error is used in most clinical laboratories today. For example, the recent kinetic rate modification, which isolates the brief time interval during which only true creatinine contributes to total color formation, is the basis of the astrum modular system. More specific, non jaffaces have also been developed. One of these, an automated dry slide enzymatic method, measures ammonia generated when creatinine is hydrolyzed by creatinine immunohydrolase. Its simplicity, precision, and speed highly recommend it for routine use in the clinical laboratory. Only 5-fluorocytosine interferes significantly with the test. Creatinine must be determined in plasma or serum and not whole blood because erythrocytes contain considerable amounts of non-creatinine chromogens. To minimize the conversion of creatine to creatinine, specimens must be as fresh as possible and maintained at pH 7 during storage. Acute Kidney Injury the amount of urea produced varies with substrate delivery to the liver and the adequacy of liver function. It is increased by a high-protein diet, by gastrointestinal bleeding, by catabolic processes such as fever or infection, and by anti-anabolic drugs such as tetracyclines or glucocorticoids. It is decreased by low-protein diet, malnutrition, or starvation and by impaired metabolic activity in the liver due to parenchymal liver disease or, rarely, to congenital deficiency of urea cycle enzymes. The normal subject on a 70 grams protein diet produces about 12 grams of urea each day. Gastrointestinal Bleeding This newly synthesized urea distributes throughout total body water. Some of it is recycled through the enterohepatic circulation. Usually, a small amount is lost through the gastrointestinal tract, lungs, and skin. During exercise, a substantial fraction may be excreted in sweat. The bulk of the urea, about 10 grams each day, is excreted by the kidney in a process that begins with glomerular filtration. At high urine flow rates, 40% of the filtered load is reabsorbed, and at flow rates lower than 2 ml min, reabsorption may increase to 60%. Low flow, as in urinary tract obstruction, allows more time for reabsorption and is often associated with increases in antidiuretic hormone, which increases the permeability of the terminal collecting tubule to urea. During ADH-induced antidiuresis, urea secretion contributes to the intratubular concentration of urea. The subsequent buildup of urea in the inner medulla is critical to the process of urinary concentration. Reabsorption is also increased by volume contraction, reduced renal plasma flow as in congestive heart failure, and decreased glomerular filtration. Advanced Age 
Creatinine formation begins with the transamidination from arginine to glycine to form glycosiamine or guanaduacetic acid. This reaction occurs primarily in the kidneys, but also in the mucosa of the small intestine and the pancreas. The GAA is transported to the liver where it is methylated by S-adenosylmethionine to form creatine. Creatine enters the circulation, and 90% of it is taken up and stored by muscle tissue. Normal serum values Other causes Serum ratios an elevated bun CR due to a low or low normal creatinine in a bun within the reference range is unlikely to be of clinical significance. The ratio is predictive of prerenal injury when bun CR exceeds 20 or when urea CR exceeds 100. In prerenal injury, urea increases disproportionately to creatinine due to enhanced proximal tubular reabsorption that follows the enhanced transport of sodium and water. The ratio is useful for the diagnosis of bleeding from the gastrointestinal tract in patients who do not present with overt vomiting of blood. In children, a bun CR ratio of 30 or greater has a sensitivity of 68.8% and a specificity of 98% for upper gastrointestinal bleeding. A common assumption is that the ratio is elevated because of amino acid digestion, since blood consists largely of the protein hemoglobin and is broken down by digestive enzymes of the upper GI tract into amino acids which are then reabsorbed in the GI tract and broken down into urea. However, elevated bun CR ratios are not observed when other high-protein loads are consumed. Renal hypoperfusion secondary to the blood lost from the GI bleed has been postulated to explain the elevated bun CR ratio. However, other research has found that renal hypoperfusion cannot fully explain the elevation. Because of decreased muscle mass, elderly patients may have an elevated bun CR at baseline. Hypercatabolic states, high-dose glucocorticoids, and resorption of large hematomas have all been cited as causes of a disproportionate rise in bun relative to the creatinine. Extracellular fluid Body water, intracellular fluid slash cytosol